So I'm not sure if you saw my other video on the Hasbro Nerf M41A pulse rifle. When I got it, I started looking at the pictures of the actual props and I saw that there was a lot of discrepancies. Stuff that I wish they gotten right the first time. I don't know why they got a little too lazy on this, but for the money, it's, it's good. It's gonna get painted up and it's gonna look very cool. So not too worried about it, but I just wish they had gone the extra mile on these little things. Barrel in the right precision, magazine will be flush instead of this, little things. But looking at the actual props and Googling a little bit more, I came across another rifle. It is more expensive. It's almost four times as expensive, even though the one I got was on sale and I had a coupon, so it brought the price down considerably. It's also getting painted, so I don't care about the paint job that it came with from the factory. And the one I'm talking about is the Matrix version. Now this guy is another beast altogether. This thing is a lot of metal. I think they used the Thompson submachine gun as the base. It has a more accurate shroud up here. The uh, barrel is in the right position. It's metal. The stock can be extended. And it's got a lot of moving parts, including up here. I don't know if you can see, but it's even got like a little grenade in here. In terms of quality, this one trumps it, but at almost four times the price. This shroud is very plasticky, but so would the actual prop have been as well. So how does this compare to the Hasbro? Well, neither one is completely accurate, but you can see they are roughly the same size. Actually, the Hasbro one is a little bit bigger. It makes a little bit of noise. There's a lot of rattle, but this just feels really, really solid. It also has, and I don't have the batteries for this one either. I should get some batteries. These, this run off of nine volts and some other weird long battery. It has a counter here that only goes up to 95, but I think that's okay. And this guy is heavy. I don't know how much it weighs, but there's some real bulk, some real heft here. This feels like a real, Gun. This one doesn't feel as nice as the Hasper actually, but I do like that it has the grenade in there. That's a nice touch, but it just feels like it slides versus the Hasbro has a, you know, it feels like a shotgun. One thing I just noticed, and I didn't think about it before, this one's got a trigger for the grenade launcher. This one does not. There's nothing here. So what is the idea there? What does the real prop have? I have to go look now. And if you know, let me know in the comment if you know if the original prop had a trigger or if it did not. There you have it. Two different M41A pulse rifles. Would you pick up this one at $400 or this one at $99. It's a tough one. This is a bargain, but this one just feels so much more real in the hand. And it has a lot of these metal accents that just really sells it. And obviously this is a terrible print, this camo, but that doesn't matter. It's getting painted in the brown best or best brown anyway. So which one would I recommend? I think if you're on a budget and you just want some piece on the wall or you're doing a slight cosplay, this might be the best bet. Just uh, painted the color scheme you want, whether it's best brown or olive, and just run with it. Or whether you want to get something like this that is more metal pieces, more accurate, but still not screen accurate for four times as much money. Although I think it's worth it. I think the price difference is considerable, but I am happier with this one than this one, just for all those little things. And then the other alternative is other custom builds. There are people that make them custom. They cost a lot more money. You can make your own. You can get a submachine gun, a Thompson submachine gun base and build a shroud around it and do all these things. But depending on how you do with building things, your skill level in manufacturing and your time and whether you can actually finish a project, like me, I don't finish a lot of projects. I have a lot of projects going. They take forever to finish. So if I start something, who knows if I'll ever finish it. Then maybe this guy is the best middle ground for that. Let me know in the comments which of these guys you would prefer, which ones you have, or which one you are gonna be picking up. I'll see you in the comments.